saw the camera was a little tilted. <clears throat> That's because I'm filming it on a ground that is uneven. Why is the ground uneven? That's because I have a, some stuff on the ground. My room's not this is clean. I'm not gonna let you see the room. So, what is this? Because I just did it. I just uploaded a video. Well, I haven't uploaded it yet as time goes close, but when I upload this, I would have. I just uploaded a video to talk about the game games and Genesis games. So why am I here? Well, I'm here because of the fact that this stuff I did not get to mention in that video because of the fact that, well, it would have been hard to mention it over video. I wanted to have these things physically in hand and be able to show you to talk about these certain things. And there's also things I forgot to mention in the video. And I don't feel like editing again because of storage reasons. So, let's start off with Sonic 2. Now, I want to talk about the physical th thing, the physical cartridge. What do I think about it? On all, it looks pretty cool. I like how it looks. Like the uh, two in the background. I've seen the cover most times. I don't know what, what they say about it. I just think the, the idea of a cartridge is a cool thing. I love cartridges. Like, the big old cartridges. Not like DS cartridges or whatever. The classic big cartridges. I just think they look so cool. Um... We had nothing to say about it with the cartridge or the cover of the game, but uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah. What did I think about the game? No offense to people that like the game. I don't think it's a bad game. I don't hate the game or anything. I just think it's okay. I'm not. I know you're thinking, oh, classic modern fan. It's a modern. It's a modern Sonic person. Do I prefer modern? It depends. You say, depends. Well, yeah. Obviously, I wouldn't want classic Sonic and Sonic Adventure. I mean, come on. No. Like, for example, do I really like classic Sonic's design? Absolutely. I love how he looks. He just looks, like, really cool. Especially in the Sonic CD opening cutscene. That is awesome. How he looks in Sonic Superstars is awesome. And then we get... So, I love how classic Sonic looks at times. He just looks awesome. But do I prefer modern Sonic in general? Yes. But that does not mean I'm modern biased. I, one of my most favorite Sonic games, one of my top five favorite Sonic games of all time is Sonic 3 Knuckles, a classic game. Sonic 3 Blast was a great classic game. Sonic 1, at first I get, I said it was okay just like Sonic 2, but in recent, in recent time I have now changed my opinion on it and said, you know what? I actually kind of like it. Sonic 2 is just doesn't really do it for me. It went here, it was great and all, but that's like the only highlight of the game. I mean, there's music, but music's almost always good. Sonic Blast is like the only Sonic game without good music. I'm not talking about 3D Blast, I'm talking about Blast, like one Sonic game I hate. But uh, no, um, yeah, so that's why I say Inward Heal is my favorite level in that last few because it's the only. I love that I think it's really good in the game. Uh, and after I talk about the game, I actually have something else I need to talk about about this series of something about it. But next one is Sonic GG. Uh, I really like the cover. I think the cover is really cool. I wish you thought the cover has scratch and grounder on it. Fun fact: when I as a kid, I thought that was scratch and grounder in the background. As I got older, I realized that those are just robots. Uh, but no, I like the Satam kind of like quill design, which I know that's not what it is. It's just the American design, and Satam was going based off that. But I don't know. I just like how it looks on this. I just, I thought this cover. I don't know what it's about. It's just really cool looking. Uh, cartridge looks cool. Uh, the game itself, I love the game. The game's great. It's not like my top ten or anything, but I would say I prefer it over the original. You saying how come? I don't know. I think it's just that Sonic's model. It's it's something about Sonic's model. Looking at Sonic's model in the game and the, having a world map and some of the extra levels, I just some of the extra levels I prefer. I just like the game a lot. I think it's a really good game. I think it's underweighted because I don't think I don't hear enough people really talk about how good it is. So I think it's underweighted. So yeah, we saw a game. Fun fact, I actually had to have my brother be for me. Actually, no. My brother did not be it. Take the back. I may have mentioned this last week, but I don't think I did. I was trying to get through it on Sonic for GX, and it doesn't save your progress, which sucks. 
So he was helping me the other day, and he got close to the end. But then I could I was waiting, leaving on for him to you know finish the game. But he said that he couldn't do it, and I was I couldn't leave on the GameCube, so I decided I was gonna try it myself, and I got the game over, so that was great. But then you know years later I would be on Mega Collection Plus, so you know it's fine. Uh, then the Sonic Drift Two. Love the cover. I wish you thought this thing right here, this white thing right there. That thing. I wish you thought that was some kind of ghost. But you know, apart from that, um, yeah, no. Pretty cool cover. Still don't understand why they never released the first one in America. Stupid move. But, um, I really like the game. The game's actually kind of cool. Playing as because it's like, uh, Fang and stuff is really cool. I like how, especially, I like how they added, you know, some new codes. I never got why Sign Drift 1 did not have Knuckles. That always bothered me. Why didn't that have Knuckles? It had Amy playable, but yet not Knuckles. Of course, this game fixed it and added Knuckles along with Metal Sonic and Fang. So, yeah, no, I really do like this game. This game's cool. Uh, then Sonic GG2. So then that'd be the game I can only say if I have a overall opinion on it. I just think it's from what I've played, it's an okay game. It's really frustrating at times. The difficulty on this game is like insane. I don't get why Tails is, looks like he's had such a big role in the game. He's captured, he's barely there in the game. I don't get why he's like on every piece of like all looking in the game and on the picture. The picture should be cool though. I don't know why it says Sonic Tails. I, when I was making the last video, I actually looked at this. I was like, wait, is this actually a double game cartridge? And I'd spend long this whole time. But then I looked at it, I was like, no, every game cartridge of Sonic GG2 has Sonic Tails on it, on the side. It's just a weird detail that I don't understand. Um, Yeah, no. You know, the game's fine. So yeah, no, I was able to talk about the physical copies. This is what I want to do. When being here physically, I want to be able to talk about the game cartridges or the games or the cases or things like that in future videos. Now, here's what I'm talking about. What inspired me to do this series? Because I did not mention that last video. I don't know why. But because I was in a watch to do the art recordings. Well, I was inspired to do this because of the fact that I always wanted to do... When I started my YouTube channel, there was things I wanted to do. And one, among myth videos, glitch videos, other things, one of them was... All my future games I own, but over the years, when I eventually got the channel, I will I got my channel years later. Over the years, I realized that wouldn't work because at that point, I had too many video games now, and it would just take forever to cover every single one. So around last year or so, I decided to do change it up and narrow it down to just Sonic games to make it simpler and actually make it possible to go through without taking forever. And so, yeah, I decided recently to finally get down and do it because my brother and sister have done shoe videos, like they're reviewing shoes and stuff. My brother launched a shoe channel. My sister has is doing two, sh just released a shoe video. She's going to do a second one where she reviews her shoes and Roger has a whole channel too where he reviews shoes. So I was like, you know what? Is that maybe since this is like a thing that they're doing, maybe I, because they're, they're my siblings, maybe I should get in the trend too, but instead of doing shoes, because I don't have that many shoes, because I don't care, I'm not crazy about shoes or something, cover my Sonic games. Finally do a video that I have been planning to do for years at this point. And now I'm here doing it. There's also the possibility that I may do a video showcasing all my Sonic plushies. That was this idea for my sister that I wasn't going to ever do. But she said, you should do that, because you got some cool plushies that I bet, you know, one day would be worth something. I'm like, I doubt they'll be worth anything, but, you know, who knows? Plushies, are, some, certain plushies are getting harder and harder to find, so, you know, who knows? Maybe I should make a video about it. You know, they were collector's items, of course, and I can tell backstories about certain plushies and stuff. And then, of course, I got tons of some action figures and Legos and merchandise and other things, but... That would take, I'm not doing a whole, I'm not going to be super sonic and do a whole video about those things. About everything I own. No, that would take probably over a year to try to figure out how to walk in and do a video. And I would not have storage for that long of a video anyways on my phone. So yeah, no. 
it was yeah no this was just like a kind of like a bonus thing i would say this is a, a extended no releasing no blooper no i'm not sure what i'm gonna call this video but i'm gonna call it something for the last video but yeah no as you can see like i said i'm not as i said in the video game audio i'm not mucusy anymore so that means i can actually get the Star of adventures video done and do the voice acting on that yay and that means I was able to go more in depth on these. In future videos, I, I will be actually be able. To, you actually will be able to hear my actual real time audio with the game, and it makes sense. And I'll have more backstory to the game and more to talk about than just saying, "Hey, I got this at Goodwill." Or, "Hey, I got this in a baggie." No, I'll have way more to talk about and backstories. I can actually talk about the copy of the game, the case, the disc, things like that. What I think about the game instead of being rushed to just try to hurry up and get the video done. And have to save things like this for an extra video. But yeah, no, uh, that's all I gotta say. I'm not gonna do some big outro or anything because it's just bonus stuff.